for taking time to speak with us today. So my question is for everybody, the cast, what was it about this show and your characters specifically that made you want to join? I can start. Um, I love the family dynamic of it. I love a wholesome wholesome content um it's something that like the whole family can watch um especially with with covid it was like everyone was like separated and then it's like well we have to come together and then it was hard for a lot of my friends that have kids it's like well, i don't know what to watch with these people and i don't want to watch cartoons all day <laughs> um and then it's like well they can't watch breaking bad so it was just kind of the thing of like what can actually unify uh families and i thought this was really good without being super saccharine i mean we have a family we have a, a couple that's like separated and trying to co-parent. So that's something very unique and different, but at the same time, it brings the family together. So I, I love that aspect. I also uh, loved the fact that from the dad's perspective, uh, a lot of times we talk about absentee fathers, you know, and there have been, uh, in my opinion, uh, a lot of, uh, improper imaging of uh, black fathers that they're absentee. What I loved about this story is that it tells a very well arced nuanced story about why he is absentee in his family in the very beginning, you know, and how he could have done things differently, especially if he would have communicated more openly, you know, with his daughter Lisa and with his son as to why he isn't there. So it, I love the fact that a father and his kids can watch this story and it speak to both of them. You know, it, it, it gives both sides the opportunity to tell their story and how they can be better with each other, how they can show love a little better. Um, I would say for me personally, this movie is like an action comedy. Um, well, this show, my bad, it's an action comedy um, animated series that centers a young Black family. Um, and it kind of shows the healthy side of co-parenting, which I feel like that needs to be shown more because nobody really shows the healthy side of co-parenting. And although it's like an animation series, it's also relatable. So when many people, many people can watch it and say, okay, well, this is an animation series, but I can actually like relate to it. And as a young girl who's a teenager going through, you know, that phase with my parents where it can kind of be up and down, I definitely related to Lisa a lot um, while recording this. So it's relatable to many teenagers. <laughs> and I have to say, you were amazing as Lisa. I was like, ooh, Thank you. I want your Thank you so much. Lisa is giving me vibes of maybe I need to not have children. <laughs> Thank you. you do a great job as the mom as well. Everyone does. Everyone does. No, I was like, oh, that preteen era. Ooh, daddy going to have to take care of her. In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, I think that it's really amazing that the show even centers around a Black family that you know, is really healthy with co-parenting and how, you know, how it's like so diverse and how we can just, how it's like so all around the place, but also cent centered at the same time with like the space thing. Like you don't really find a lot of animated series with the black family and a black family that has intergalactic things going on involved with it. And I feel like all the characters just fit so perfectly with like Lisa being the role model while dad's not away. But when dad comes back, you know, it's like, okay, you know, he better up his game. I'm expecting a lot from him. And then we get into space and we see this. So I think it's just so perfect how it all goes together. And Jacoby, you are amazing at Sean. Like, oh, stop. You, <laughs> I won't. I won't stop giving you your flowers. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a, a question for everybody, but um, I know Patrick and Everett. I spoke with you guys earlier, but you know, in your early lead-in days. Um, what you know, for those of you that have done the characters, do you have any favorite moments or favorite scenes that you recorded for this?
Sorry, you're muted. Oh, I have some. I have a favorite scene. Um, my favorite scene would be the scene where Lisa was arguing with um her dad and that was kind of emotional the I really had to go there for that scene and like kind of put myself there because even though I couldn't see the atmosphere or I wasn't um with my dad like face to face or the person who played my dad face to face I kind of had to go there mentally so that was one of my favorite scenes just because the emotions were heightened and it's different for like an animation series to show that real and that raw of a daughter and their dad's relationship. So um, it was very relatable to me and I feel like it would be relatable to a lot of like young girls watching it. Yeah. Um, my favorite scene, I think this was the first episode, was when I was asking if we could uh, watch this movie called The Legend of, uh, I forgot the name. It was Gahu. Gahu. <laughs> and um, Lisa just started like going off. And I love how Sean is just sitting there like, <laughs> um, uh, whose side do I go on? I love that scene. It was like one of my favorite scenes ever. I'm trying to think because I, I'm, you know, we did two seasons of this, and so I'm kind of like, what was that? I'm like, my mind is like, which season, which one do I? I don't want to give anything away, but I'm like, it's probably safe if I'll say something. <laughs> I, I loved, I loved playing with all the different characters' dynamics, you know, because um, <clears throat> he had to wear a different hat with every family member um, for different reasons. Uh, with Lisa's character, it was guilt. Uh, it, with uh, his son, Jacoby, it was trying to wrangle his, his energy, you know, but do it in a constructive way, not in a destructive way. Uh, with Tess, it was, you know, trying to make up for knowing that he has let her down. Um, you know, and all that while still keeping up uh, a, a strong image and protecting his family, you know, from both what he sees as a threat, you know, and even those that he works for. It was very layered in that in that aspect. And I feel like uh, dads that watch this with their kids will definitely uh, see a lot of themselves and their daily uh, struggles uh, projected here in this in the story.